What's up, guys? This is uh, Diego with Techie Life. Um, Techie Life right here. Ba Boom. All right, so I got this TV that I was repairing. Um, it's already kind of done and over with. I I did want to show y'all a a little trick, tip slash tip, whatever you want to call it. Um, for the guys that don't have um, whoa, whoa, whoa. For the guys that don't have a uh, little LED tester, which I have here. By the way, I got that on eBay. Uh, it was like 30, 40 about, uh, dollars. Um, for those guys that don't have them and don't really, really, really need them, I found a solution for y'all. So let me explain this real quick. These are strips, right? These strips need voltage, and and this is actually a perfect case where I can show you how it works. Uh, without you know messing with those brain too much or not okay so the breakdown is let me lift this up real quick and this is a uh, majority of the TVs here um, so you have your input here which is uh, the LEDs and in most cases they're gonna have positive and negative in this case we have two positives and two negatives so it's I think it's a uh, po uh, negative positive and then negative positive I think I'm not too sure but no matter so in this we have two leads going in here now within these two leads they're gonna go right here um, you can kind of see where it breaks off and, and this is this is a LG and it kind of breaks it off perfectly um, so the one of the leads actually breaks off only this part right here the other leads breaks off this the top part and then this bottom part now with the LED tester, you can test them out from the front, I mean from the board itself, or if you know that one of your backlights is out and you don't have an LED tester and you already went down, breaking everything down, you can actually test from the strips themselves. Now each of these strips, if it's like this in, 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 in the series that, it, that, it, that this is, which is a break, broken down into two, uh, we do know that these two are actually, they go in series. So one, two, three, or I'm sorry, one, two, three goes in series. So this is the uh, high voltage. Basically, each one of these LEDs are going to be about three, three volts, 2.8 volts, or something like that to that nature. Um, so if you add up each single LED, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten times, you know, three rows, you get 30, uh, 300 volts. But you know, you, you probably don't have nothing that, that can go to that high. Um, I find your solution. Nine volt batteries in series of uh, three. I'll, I'll explain to you right now. Okay, so we have nine volt, nine volts here. Nine and nine. So nine times three, it's, I think it's 27. Um, what I did is I basically, you know, put one against the other, snapped it in against this one. So I have 27 volts here, and I have two leads. I just got some wire and I wrapped it around. Nothing special, I braid wrapped it. So, you just wanna make sure you know which one's your positive, which is negative. And even if you don't know, it, it's okay, it's not that bad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay down here. And hopefully I can do it with my hands, with, with one of these hands here. Um, you probably have two free hands. I, I don't. <laughs> so, in, in some, most of these LED strips are going to have positive and negative there. You basically, this is what you're going to do just touch them both. And let's see if I can do it here without messing that up. Let me put you on my little pesto, actually. Hold on. All right, cool. I got you. So, negative and positive. Boom. Now right now, let's see here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten times uh, three volts is 30, 30 volts. And if you even if you do two point eight, we're right below the thirty. So at this point, you see that they're, they're not going to be maybe full brightness, but you're going to be able to know which one is out once you do that. Um, if you have more strips, then obviously you want to put more nine volt batteries together. Um, just know that uh, most cases it's going to be three volts for the LEDs. In some rare cases, 
you'll have a six bolt LEDs. Um, I think some of the LG, the LB series or the LF series. Um, I haven't seen any Samsungs at six, but you know they can they, it can be out there. Uh, this this does not work for the edge lit ones, the ones that actually go on the on the side here, you know, uh, with a side by side by side by side like that. This does not work for that. You're gonna need a very high voltage tester then, because each of those LEDs is about three volts, and you do three volts multiply by however you know many you got. That's how much voltage you're gonna need. Um, but this is perfect because you can actually, you know, test all these LEDs out. Now, don't make the mistake of testing it here like in the middle because you know obviously this is 27 volts and this is one two three four five five volts times 15 and five times three is 15 so you can have 27 volts going to a 15 volt uh requirement here that's a big no-no you're, you're you're gonna blow these leds out you know either one or you're probably gonna blow all of them or probably just one and then you gotta repair that um quickest way that you can repair something if you don't have the LEDs. This is a freebie, guys. Is and I, I know I don't do this. I usually repair, but I did. I did this with this one. So this one was a repair. I basically beat it. Beat it. I took off the old strip. I mean the old LED, and I beaded it with a positive and negative, allowing for the voltage to flow through. Now in this case, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine those nine volt or nine LEDs actually nine and then plus the two other rows because these are in two series it has to that three volts here has to get flushed out somehow some way um, which is good because the power supply can do that three volts is nothing but if you have like a whole you know like five or six of those LEDs missing and the power supply is outputting more than what it needs then you might be in the trouble where you might blow those LEDs so let me know what y'all think of this video. Uh, I really hope it, it, it helps. Um, like I said, basically, I just got some DC wire or speaker wire can work, but it's going to be hard for the little, little leads. Um, nine volt battery, and that's it. Y'all guys will be rock and rolling. Let me know what y'all think. Take care, and on to the next one. Laters.